Welcome to Goldfish on Games Play CSI Miami. We're now up to the second case, Crack or Jack. So let's kick this off right away. And in three, two, one. Yeah! In this case, we're going to be playing with Tim Speedle. Now, if you don't recognize him, then you've probably only seen the later series because he only appeared in the first few seasons. Um, I won't say why he vanished, but he, he left the series. But he was pretty much known for not really giving a fuck about the job. Well, he did the job, but he didn't do it for the love of doing the job. It was just a job to him. And we're going to see a we're bit We're going to tempt fate this time around, a dance club called Fate, where a late citizen met an unlikely one. Check it out. Speedle's your partner for this case. I'm sure you two will get along great. Is it me, or does he sound a little bit bored? You know? It's like, the actor really couldn't give a fuck about doing it. It was just a paycheck for him. But, uh, let's see how it goes from here. Still that same terrible model, though. Ugh. Like, where's his glasses? He was known for his glasses. Could they not get the license to his glasses? Ugh, right, let's kick this one off, shall we? And go to the Fate Nightclub. Ooh. Setting the scene. Ooh. Does this look like a nightclub you've ever been to with the cash machine behind the bar? Like, literally? The... I don't know. Always seems contrived the spaces they make in these. Hey, I'm Tim Speedle. <laughs> it's good to have some help on this case. Seems the FBI has an investigation underway involving this club, which means we're restricted to the murder scene. But they're not telling us much about it yet. Of course, our federal colleagues promise to keep us informed, but I just can't help feeling screwed. Wow. I. That looked like they were modeling. Where is he? It looked like they were modeling. Sorry, partner. Nothing for <laughs> you right now. It honestly looks like they were modeling uh, Homer Simpson and then remembered that they were having to do Tim Speedle. Look at that five o'clock shadow. And I thought Horatio sounded bored. He, he literally sounds as if he's about to fall asleep. Did they just load him up with drugs or something before the recording? Oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Ah, uh, let's let's just get this case on the go, shall we? Because if we don't get started, this one could last forever. Just pointing out the terribleness of Tim Speedle. Enrique Sanchez, we're with the crime lab. Hasn't been any crime here that I know of, but oh. hey, I like to keep you guys happy. Let me know what you need. Wow, that is a terrible, terrible accent. That just... Oh. Please tell me we don't talk to him a lot. Because <laughs> that, that's awful. Absolutely bloody awful. Uh, let's just get into it. What is your role here at the club? I tend bar and take care of any troublemakers, you know, bounce their asses if need be, discreetly, of course. So you're a bouncer. Do you know the victim? Yeah, man, oh man, what a tragedy. Jack, he was a cool dude. Owned the place, you know. Hands-on kind of guy, but never a pain or nothing. Weird, huh? Light falling out of the rafters like that? Like something out of a movie. Did you see Jack last night? I hadn't seen him by the time I left, which was, oh, midnight? That was early for me to punch out, but what the hell's the point, you know? Place was dead. Sorry, poor choice of words. You seem so broken up by it. Does Jack have keys for the club? You kidding? He owned the place. Come and go as he pleased. I'm just a small fry, you dig? Pour drinks, bounce butts. Ah, so you're a bartender. Not a bouncer. Do you mind if we look around? Sure, but I guess you know you're supposed to stick to the dance floor, right? Where the body is? The federales have been hanging around, making everybody's life miserable. Is something besides murder going down at this club, Mr. Sanchez? 
Who says it's murder? Anyway, like I said, I'll cooperate. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Oh, we have a broken light, a glass, and oh, that must be a screw. This bolt could oh. come from our drop stage light. Let's oh. take the bolt in for analysis. It may tell us whether we have an accident or a murder. And we grab the stage light. Smash yes. disco light. Fell or was dropped? Yes, we'll find out. Oh, that looked like a fingerprint. You shouldn't dust for prints here. Uh, are we going to have a puzzle where we have to put it back together again? Shards of glass. If we put this puzzle back together, the mirror will reflect back on the angle that our victim was struck. Really? Really? Jack Simmons. Foul play or freak accident? My gut says the former, but the evidence? That'll give us the real answer. Is he on his front or in his back? I honestly cannot tell. Blood. Let's Jack get... Simmons' blood. Meaning it'll no doubt prove useful. Oh, I'm sure it will. What's the white splotches? Oh. Credit cards and cash missing. Could this have been a robbery? Let's find out if Enrique knows anything about the case situation. Could this be a... A robbery? Could this be a robbery? Let's... Let me, oh, let me take the wallet, it seems. Hmm. hmm. Gum on his shoe. Looks like a powdery substance stuck to it. Should say it's all over his shoe. We'll need to run this strange residue through the computer. Okay, we have to actually take it off the gum. Well, let's see what Enrique has to say. Could this have been a burglary? They say anything is possible, right? Only I don't see where anybody busted in. And if they did, they wouldn't get nothing. We usually don't leave any cash in the till overnight. That's all we need here, for now. Well, thank you for letting me know, Mr. Cheerful. Let's go to the morgue. What now? Can you recover the body for me? No prob. I'll send a crew out to pick up my new tenant. How did our victim die? Based on a prelim analysis? Well, we have blunt force trauma to the skull. There's more than one laceration, so it's difficult to say which point of impact caused the fatality. How long has the victim been dead? Body temp indicates around 11 o'clock last night. What can you tell us about the blood on the victim's back? You noticed that, did you? I found it odd, too. Not just the surface blood, but the liver mortis. Post-mortem internal blood pooling. Suggests our friend was on his back for some time after dying. And yet he was found on his stomach. Which suggests he was flipped over at some point. Or moved. And dead people don't move themselves. You've not seen enough horror films, obviously. Uh Let's examine the body. Please do. I'm sure he won't mind. Looks like Alex cleaned up that nasty head wound. Some interesting marks on our Vic's head under all that blood. Uh, let's take a look, shall we? What do you make of that gash over the Vic's cheek? Somehow he struck in the side of the head, too, causing neural disruption and hemorrhaging. Interesting mark. Unique. Which I guess means we need to take a mold. You've made quite an impression. We need to know what caused this mark. I wonder if that tube always sounds like it's just about empty. Do we have anything else? Uh, I 
don't think so. Yep, I guess we don't have anything else on this body. Let's go to the lab. Hey. Hey. Yep. Amplified and graphed that DNA, scanned it into the computer already. Go for it. I will do. What we have here is a microscopic single cell organism that grows and ferments, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide, commonly known as yeast. This strain, used in beer. I'll send it to the microscope so you can take a better look. Fate Club business card. I'll send it to the computer so you can do a search and get the details on this upstanding establishment. Upstanding establishment. Mm, sounds like she's loving the place. Right. Where I come from, a bolt doesn't typically unscrew itself. Doesn't appear to be a manufacturing defect either. A tool unfastened this puppy. Find the tool, and I can match it to these impressions. Oh, there's impressions on it, is there? Who says Disco is dead? But when you drop one of these babies on a human head, the music's gonna stop all right. So casual. Glass shards. Might be more to learn if this were in one piece. I'll lay him out on the assembly table behind me so you can put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And the wound. I'll send this to the image enhancement equipment. In the meantime, if you find anything that might have caused this mark, bring in another chunk of microcell and we'll compare them. I'll do that. Right. And here we go. I am a grown-ass adult doing a jigsaw puzzle. some of the pieces around so we, can, so we can actually see what's going on with it uh, this must be riveting stuff to watch I swear each of the CSI games has a jigsaw puzzle mini game in it. It must be they must have made it once and then realized, hey, we can easily just drop this into any of our games. Hey. Hey, there we go. Oh, and it even clicks together. How nice is that? And they even remembered it's transparent, so it actually correctly layers on top of each other. Isn't that fancy? So yeah, I have played some of the other CSI games, mostly the uh, the original CSI series. And they had uh, they actually put those ones on just about every platform, if I remember rightly. So I swear I played it on the uh, Xbox, and the first one they put on the Xbox. They were so, so lazy with the uh, achievement points. Literally, it was just five achievements, one for each case. You finish the game, you got every single achievement point. I swear it must have been the only one that I complete that I actually got every single achievement point for. Because normally I can't be bothered just grinding at a game to get all the achievements. I'm much more of a sort of get my enjoyment out of it and then move on because there are plenty of games to play. And if I spend too much time on the on one game, then how am I going to get through all the others? Don't I owe it to myself to play as many games as I can? Oh, I've somehow connected those pieces together without realizing it. That bit looks. Oh, yes, that connects together. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So yeah, if um, if anyone actually enjoys this and wants to see some of the other CSI games, I can put it onto the rotor. I do have a few other 
you not can't see it, but I'm going to put air quotes. Interesting games to play. Nice work. Judging by the shape of the fixture, assuming a straight fall, I'd estimate an angle of impact at 22 degrees from vertical. Wonder if that's consistent with our Vic's wound. We should also take a closer look at the new assembled lens evidence to see if there's anything more we can learn from it. I do wonder if any of what he said there was actual science. But now we have it assembled. We can... Ha! Get a fingerprint! Uh, let's put that through... Hey, a full fingerprint. System. Cool. I'll test it into the computer for you, see if we get lucky. And uh, let's see if we get lucky. I bet you we don't. Uh, nope. No, nope, that area is definitely different. Uh, that's looking a little similar, but that's different. So close, but not right. I don't think there's a match in that set. Oh, there you go. He told us. DNA search. Searching, searching, searching. Uh, nope, that's definitely different. That's definitely different. Definitely different. Different. I don't think there's a match in that set. And he beat me to it. That's different as well. Oh, what's going to get on our special search? This looks like terrible code scrolling up. I swear I saw lots of case statements. Oh, please don't tell me this game is just one massive great big switch statement. It would explain a lot. Okay, let's see. It appears Jack incorporated two bars. Doesn't rule out silent partners, though. Let's check out this sports bar, too. The draft. The draft. Right. I think we threw something in here. Oh. Uh, it looks similar, but I'm guessing it has to be an exact. Great. Oh, no. What disco or bar on planet Earth isn't bathed in yeast from spilled beer? Lucky for us, this strain isn't so common. It's a European-style brew. You just gotta hope that any spilled yeast is from the beer. And I guess we've got nothing to compare that to. Uh, let's talk to Elena. Can I help you out in this case? You can. Can you get us the address of the draft? Should be a snap. Or not. Place doesn't seem to exist. Name has been registered by Jack Simmons, but no sign the business was ever established. Ooh, interesting. Let's go back to the nightclub then and talk to this guy. Can we get your fingerprints? Hey, I said I'd cooperate. Just keep in mind, you know, my prints are bound to be all over this place. Because I'm all over this place. Oh, I hope it's only his prints that are all over this place. <sighs> Do you know anything about Jack's other businesses? Hey, hey, hey! I said I'd help out, but what's with the questioning me about a murder that ain't a murder yet? You guys prove that light was dropped on my boss's cabeza and hell, I'll be your best buddy. Till then, I got work to do. That's all we need here, for now. Hmm. Actually, let's go back to the morgues. Any way yes. I can help? What was the angle of impact of the fatal wound? The fatal wound causing lethal brain damage is the one above Jack's cheek, putting it around 35 degrees from vertical. If the reassembled mirrored ball suggests a 22 degree impact, then the falling light did not put the victim's lights out. They were already shut off. Mirrored ball? What mirrored ball? It was a light fixture. Like, did they change the script halfway through or did they just ad lib? Not knowing what is actually going on. Uh, uh, we got a fingerprint, didn't we? What's up? Scan that print, and the computer's got it. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a match to me. Enrique handled this light, all right. Prints are all over it. 
Dun dun dun. And locations, and let's talk to him again. We have information. So what do you know about the sports bar called The Draft? Look, I got my hands full. The boss is dead. I got a club to run. You show me that Jack was murdered. I'm going to do anything I can to help. But so far, this is an accident. And my time's valuable, you dig? I dig that your boss bought it after getting hit in the head. Only, it wasn't from a falling light. You got your classic hit alongside the head. If you don't start cooperating, how about we hit you up for a trip downtown? Whoa, Nelly! What's with the hostility all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, Nelly! Jack's other place, the sports bar, is called Whiskey Stop. The draft was one of the other names him and his partner Ron was considering. You know, till they landed at Whiskey Stop. <laughs> Who is Ron? Ron is Ron. Ron Preston. He's got a big piece of this club too. Him and Jack split all the duties 50-50. But financially, Ron's half is his sports bar. You know, whiskey stop. Where is whiskey stop? Not around here, other side of town practically. Nice enough area, but they never built up the clientele they deserve. Ron's let the place get a little, you know, run down, but it's still got potential. You want the address? You know Enrique, Mr. Cooperation. Did Jack have any enemies? Enemies, that's a harsh word, but Jack did get into a kind of, what, uh, shouting match with that broad, Nikki Winters. She was a waitress here, part-time, sometime trophy piece for Jack. Typical lover's quarrel, I guess. Had words. Jack tossed her out on her tail. She threatened his ass and took off. You know how it goes. Why did we find your fingerprints on the glass from the fallen lights? Hey, I clean up baby regularly along with the other lights. Like I clean a dance floor, the toilets. I mop up in there too. Just another perk from my generous employers. That's all we need here, for now. Let's go to the whiskey stop. And, yay! We have an establishing shot. And look at him, all casually leaning against the snooker. Is it pool or snooker? Uh, could be pool, but... I swear that looks like it's got two uh, black balls, which doesn't sound right. No, three. What the? What sort of place is this? Has the, did the artist ever actually go to a pool club or a snooker hall or even a bar? Ah, sheesh. Let's uh, uh, let's talk to whoever this is. Excuse me. We're with the crime lab. We're looking for Ron Preston. He's downstairs right now. In the basement. Anything I can do you for? We're with CSI Miami. Who are you? I'm your waitress. Nikki. Uh, did you used to work at Fate? Well, yeah. How did you know? I said we were with the crime lab. We haven't had a crime here. We're even strict about carding. There was a crime at your old club. Fate. Miss Winters, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. You were in a relationship with Jack Simmons? I used to be. And as far as bad news, Jack is bad news. Why? Miss Winters, Jack is dead. He was murdered last night. We need to ask you a few questions. Jack? Jack's dead? Murdered? No, no. Listen, I didn't mean anything by what I said. We just broke up recently, and I wouldn't wish that on... Could you give me a moment, please? Wow, someone actually trying to emote in this game. You shouldn't do it too hard. You put all the other actors off. Uh, why are you working at the Whiskey Stop? After Jack fired me at Fate, Ron sort of took me in. Maybe that seems, I don't know, odd? I mean, since they were partners and all? Did you threaten Jack when he fired you? 
Hey, didn't you ever get so mad at somebody who said I could just wring your neck or whatever? Jack was possessive and paranoid as hell, and he accused me of sleeping with Ron. I only threatened him after he physically threw me out of the bar. If I'd really wanted to get back at him, I could have filed an assault charge. That would have shown him. Is that a very, very tall forehead? Yeah. What's going on with the necklaces? They, they seem to be glued together as well. Ah, need to stop picking at these terrible models. Um, were you? Of course, we're gonna ask this. Are you in? Were you? Are you intimate with Ron? What does that have to do with anything? Maybe you'd prefer to answer questions back at the station. Sometimes I think all men are jerks. Yeah, yeah, I slap with Ron. Satisfied? Not as much as they seem to be, obviously. Is it always this quiet here? Sometimes it gets real lively and a tumbleweed blows through. Whiskey Stop hasn't been setting Miami on fire. Which sucks for a waitress, because without tips, I'm below poverty level. But things are looking up. We have a new microbrewery. In the basement? Ron's perfecting a recipe that'll have customers flooding the place. Which is why I'm still around. Uh, back in 2004, when the microbrewery fad took over. How do we get to the basement? I'll show you. There's a door in our back room. Thanks, Miss Winters. Maybe we'll take a look around up here if you don't mind. Knock yourself out. Just because Jack was an SOB doesn't mean that I don't want to help you guys find his killer. Well, strangely, she didn't want to swear, but the last woman, in the last case, really, like, would throw out the bitches and the sluts all over the place. So, what do we have to find up here? Hmm. A virtual golf setup. Expensive little toy. Not that it seems to have helped business any. Well, second case that's got something slightly to do with golf. I wonder if it's the theme. Trophy case. Looks like there's room for expansion. Looks like there's something missing there. And we actually click on... Anything. Now check oh. out the bottom of the trophy. Does the emblem look familiar to you? Like maybe it made a real impression on our victim? Like his head? <laughs> like, you should get his evidence, you should click on the button and then click on it, and oh, this is meant to be a subtle hint, and... There's something... Looks like there's something here. Is it up there as well? Uh... Oh, that's not doing anything down here. Is that... Oh, that is blood. Blood on this trophy. Let's get it in for analysis. Uh, collection. Pink. Is there anything else that we can look at up here? I don't think so. Let's see if we can go down to the microbrewery. Guys, guys. Sorry, but this is an employees only area. Head back on upstairs and tell Nuki I said to give you beers in the house. Thanks, but we're not customers. We're CSI. Investigating Jack Simmons' murder. You're Mr. Preston? Yeah, sorry about that. Some customers are curious about the new microbrewery. Glad to be of help. You know, where this awful thing about Jack is concerned. Listen, Nikki and Jack were an item and I haven't said anything to her about it yet, so... We've already broken the news to Miss Winters. Now, would you mind answering a few questions about your late partner? Like I said, anything to help. How does he know that his partner's dead already? This couldn't have taken place all that... Like, he must have been there pretty quickly. Whereas Enrique is sort of blabbing to everyone. And you know what? I'm actually quite happy with that reflection. Even though it looks like... Has he got a, a nose ring? Or is that just a weird random light spot? A terrible little bit of goatee. That, uh, not goatee. Soul patch bit there. Oh dear. 2004. Anyway, let's get on with the questions. Did you get in a fight with Jack last night? Fight? 
That's a little strong, isn't it? We were old friends and longtime partners. We got into it all the time. I mean, running two clubs with two owners, that takes finesse and patience, and sometimes we ran out of both, you know. What were you fighting about? First of all, we were arguing, not fighting. About what? What else? Money. Listen, this I would appreciate some discretion on, okay? But somebody had been embezzling from fate, and I had my suspicions about Jack, got it? But it turns out Jack had his suspicions about me. Anyway, we put two and two together and came up with Enrique. Oh, well, he's now sounding really suspicious, isn't he? Nikki said the fight was over her. Nikki? No way. Jack and I never fought over women, and certainly not Nikki. You saw her, she's a dish, but she's got the brains of a baseball. Again, discretion. I'm not proud of it, but we both slept with her and kind of passed her around without her knowing it. Oh, don't you two sound absolutely lovely. <laughs> when was the last time you saw Jack? 10 o'clock, maybe. He was going to confront Sanchez about the embezzling. I didn't want a thing to do with it. Sanchez was his employee, and that made it his problem. We didn't have any say over who the other guy hired, which is why Nikki still works here at Whiskey Stop. Did Jack fired Nikki because he was jealous. Oh, hell no. Jealous? I told you, she was a plaything for both of us. What Jack didn't like, what I don't like, is Nikki's other little hobby nose candy and an assortment of recreational drugs. Jack says she was dealing to keep up with her habit and using fate as a venue. Uh, everyone in this is sounding lovely, aren't they? Uh, so what's in the canisters? Beer. I'm creating a new test batch. This is a microbrewery. You mind if we take a look around your microbrewery? Hey, I said I'd help any way I could. Just stay shy of my brewing equipment. It's pricey, and I am very secretive about my recipes. As I'm sure they taste absolutely vile. Let's see if we... From the looks of it, that valve will empty the canister. Without a warrant, we better keep our hands off. We don't want to see Ron's hard work go down the drain. Drain. Like my acting abilities. Is that canister? It's more of a tank, isn't it? I'm talking of tanks. Is that a tank card? It is. Oh, and look at that. Another weird shape that looks similar to what we're interested in. That's fart it. Nice catch. We'll check the symbol against the impression from our Vic. We may have our murder weapon. And can we get a swab of inside? I guess not. Can we take it? I guess not. Can we... Try something similar. Something else. Similar. A beer mug with some beer residue. Let's take it in and do some lab work on it. Is that a stain there? Uh, Look oh. to you like something was cleaned up here recently? Me too. And it's a swab. And... I guess that is everything we can do around here. To the lab! Yes? DNA scanned and waiting in the computer for you. That's in the image enhancement and microscopy equipment. Where else? Microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. These texts would go microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. Uh, see, they couldn't really be bothered to do multiple. You'll find a lines. sample of that yeast under the microscope. All right. To the computer. Searching, searching. Uh, nope, that looks different. That. Nope. 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 
pretty sure one of those is a match. Oh, I think this one might be a match. Bobby yeah. Bassey, heavyweight boxer. Real animal who liked to hurt people in and out of the ring. One of the trophies from his amateur days. He died two years ago, so he's not much of a suspect. Well, that's a nice dead end. Uh, oh, we've got more of these impressions to check. Could that... I swear that could match, can't it? Ish. Close, but no cigar. It's the details that make the difference. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, one, two. I appreciate the effort, but that's not a match. Try not to pull me in unless you're sure. I swear it could be a match. And they're not the same. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. Let's see if she's got any. What do you need? I'll get on it, but I can tell you now that our friend Enrique is a scofflaw, holds a small fortune in traffic violations. Let's impound his vehicle and see if we can find any dirt. Right. That's what we seem to do, find dirt. Yay! Stop footage! We've got to set the scene. Oh, that's a very flash looking car for a bouncer slash barman. Let's see what we can get from it, eh? Catch it the boots. There's a tool in here. Yoink. Adjustable pliers. Wonder if we found that tool that loosened the stage light bolt. Nothing else in here, I guess. Ooh, what's that under the seat? That looks like money to me. Well, our bouncer bartender is pretty flush. This isn't exactly tip money. Uh, Something ooh. on the seat here? Uh, Body fluids in the back seat couple of possibilities come to mind. Hey, I think I'll let you swap this one. I don't wanna... Look at that. Uh, oh, can you zoom in on the, the glove compartment? Oh, look at that. And is that a fingerprint? <laughs> I swear it actually highlighted it and then did a zoom in. And uh, I guess we collect. I... There we go. Sealed bag of white powder, possibly cocaine. Let's see what the lab thinks. Yes, let's see what the lab thinks. What's up? I have some prints on the computer. Hey. Don't mention it. DNA's amplified and graphed. What are you waiting for? Computer's got it. And... Bucking for a transfer to narcotics division, are we? Let's see what the computer has to say. Always useful to know what the computer has to say. $3,000 cash. Be nice to find that stuffed in a birthday card, huh? Or in any card, really. And have some pliers. Pliers. A little tool mark magic analysis, and I can tell you if it matches the mark. So I did further analysis, and sorry, the pliers from the Sanchez card didn't make the marks on the bolt. Alright, let's see what we see. Searching. Uh, 
Nope, does it match? See, me that looked like much lower resolution. Nope. Nope. Actually, that looks like it could match. We got a match on the print. Thank you, hey. winners. We've got some DNA. And let's do the fun of going through each one individually until we find one that hopefully matches. Such a fun mini game, eh? Very riveting. I think this is it. Got a match from a uh, University DNA Research Project sample. Human genome stuff, most likely. Can't picture Enrique being real interested in the progress of science. But sometimes, volunteers get paid. And then, these universities just give the DNA to... the cops? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. How do you have a full set of fingerprints? And... You guys just got lazy. You couldn't be bothered to create a new screen, so you did this. Like, ugh. It's like, guys! Let's see if this powder is what we think it is. As our computer runs through its massive switch statement. Stimulants like cocaine get absorbed in the bloodstream and block the reuptake of dopamine which creates pleasurable effects in the brain. Well, there you go. That's what it does, supposedly. And uh, I guess we've done all that. Uh, we had nothing new there. So, I figure we go talk to Enrique again. We found some hot, pretty nasty things about him. What do you know about the stain in the back of your the back seat of your car? Hey, that car is my baby. Stains don't happen when I'm taking care of it. Who knows? After it was impounded, seagull maybe. Seagull with your um, DNA. Ugh. Okay, that might be a possibility in this game. <laughs> Why do you have cocaine in your car? Cocaine? I don't go near that stuff. What do you know about the missing money from fate? That's what I get for cooperating, right? Unfair, unfounded accusations. Well, why do you have so much money in your car? Don't know nothing about that, bro. Don't know nothing about that, bro. <laughs> we found drugs and money in your car. Are you dealing? Look, I don't think it's a good idea for me to answer any more of your questions. So I'm not going to unless you got a warrant in your back pocket. <laughs> Why did you find your DNA in the stain in the car? What are you talking about? Don't know nothing about that, bro. That's all we need here, for now. Uh, let's see if Nikki's gonna say anything about that druggy bag. <laughs> Was it in Greek and embezzling from fate? That's what Ron's been saying. I don't know for sure, but I will tell you one thing. For a guy making crap money like he does, he sure has a nice car. And women to go with it. Yes, I think we've seen what happens with him and his women in his car. Ugh. Why is there blood on the trophy? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I, is that exact same line that some of the... Like, I'm sorry, I didn't know anything about that. I swear they're just using the same lines. Ugh. Why were your fingerprints on a bag in the Sanchez car? Can't help you on that one. Oh, at least they gave her another line there. And do you ever do drugs? Can't help you on that one. Evidence is pointing a finger straight at Nikki Winners. The prints are all over these drugs. Have you handled cocaine recently? You think I've got a drug problem? Look, I'm no angel. I partied a bit in my day, but I've been clean for years. Years! You think either Jack or Ron would put up with that? A druggy waitress? What, did Ron tell you that? Well, he's a damn liar, but he does know about drug problems, all right. His own. Ooh, we're throwing shit again. That's all we need here. For now. For now. Let's talk to Ron. 
Does he ever move away from his beard? Like, that would take ages. He doesn't need to sit there all the time. Do they just not have two people in the same room? Does their engine not support that? Tell me what you think. Do you think their engine doesn't support that? I, th I think it doesn't. So, are you dealing in drugs? No, but I thought I already made that perfectly clear to you people. That's all we need here, for now. For now. Let's see if Yelena can shed any light. Hey, what do you need? Does Ron or Nikki have any past when it comes to drugs? Let's see, I'll look up the records. Nothing on Nikki, but Ron? <laughs> he got himself accused on drug trafficking. But the charges were dropped. Insufficient evidence. Let's take a look, word with him again. What kind of drugs were you easily accused of trafficking? No kind of drugs. Check your own records. The charges were dropped. Who did the drugs belong to then? I already told you to look at Nikki. Do I stutter? She was fired from fate because of it. We're not getting anywhere fast. Let's see if Yelena has gotten the Sanchez bank statements yet. That's all we need here, for now. Well, I bet she does, seeing that you've hinted what at it. What do you it. need? Have you got the Sanchez bank statements yet? Bank just faxed over records showing Enrique transferring a considerable amount to an unknown account. The bank statement has the account numbers for both accounts involved in this transaction. You can take a print out of it. That's what it should sound like. Right, let's see if we can do anything. Yes? This bank statement. Set up a special link on the computer for that. Uh, gotta love those special links. Searching, 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 searching. Possible matches found. Wow, there's almost 60 grand in this foreign account. Twice what our friendly neighborhood bartender makes in a year. Of course, Enrique might be hoarding tip money overseas to avoid taxes if he's been saving up his quarters for a decade or so. Otherwise, he was an embezzler like his employers suspected. Well, that is a lot of money. Um, let's see what he thinks about that, shall we? What can you tell us about your recent bank activity? Sorry, man. My memory's not too good lately about stuff <laughs> like that. That's all we need here. Really? For now. Really? You don't know nothing about your bank. Well, let's see if we can get hey, him in. Hey, what do you need? Oh, warrant. Suspect warrant. Enrique. The evidence? Cash in his car. Large mysterious bank transactions. Indicates Enrique was embezzling. Let's bounce the bouncer into our world. Bounce the bouncer into the bouncing world of the bouncers. Were you embezzling from fate? What are you talking about? We came up with 3000 in cash in your car and bank records showing you sending a whole lot of money overseas. He has no oh. teeth. You found us stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, so I've been helping myself stuff. a little from the uh... till. I mean, what the hell? I really run the place, but because I'm not one of their white bread yuppies, Jack and Ron, they stiff me. Just the bouncer, the bartender, and the glue that holds fate together, man. I never took one dime I didn't have coming. Just dimes that weren't yours. So you killed Jack when he confronted you. Confronted? He never confronted me. Weren't you listening when I told you? I never saw him last night. Or did you get into an argument with Jack? Who figured out you'd been skimming. An argument that escalated. So you did your bouncer thing, hitting him alongside the head. Maybe you didn't mean it to be a fatal blow, but it was one. <gasps> First you emptied Jack's wallet, and you did your own special dance, Enrique. Staging an accident, putting the body under that light, clipping the supports, and crashing that ball into a dead man. I thought you were crime scene investigators. Sounds more like crime scene speculators to me, man. <laughs> he managed to say that whole line without moving his mouth and he then just had the snappiest comeback eh? 
No, I like how in the sort of flashback they showed him using the implies that we already know he didn't use. <sighs> so what were you doing with such a large amount of drugs in your car? That stuff wasn't mine. You gotta believe me, man. That's Nikki's powder. What I get for being a gentleman, you know? Gentleman Just give her a ride home. home and the airhead leaves a package in my car and makes me look dirty. You think I'd leave that in my car if it was my stash? Hell, if I knew that stuff was there, I'd have flushed it. I mean, with the FBI sniffing around, damn. Yeah, supposedly they are, but we've not seen them at all. Why do you have a bank account in Romania? Don't know nothing about that, bro. <laughs> That's all we need here, for now. Laptop is really hitting the fan. I don't know if this is coming across on the, the microphone or not. Hopefully not. This is what you get when you buy an overpowered laptop. Um, let's see if we can now actually look around all of fate. With this drug info, we'll have the FBI working with us. You've earned his warrant. Go explore the rest of your fate. <laughs> explore the rest of your fate. Yeah, for once we don't have someone we have to talk to to let us do it. So let's look at this. I've been seeing this the whole time. Uh, yeah, looks like a, no, that's not the right one. Is it the right one? Oh, it is. Well, I never thought our perp flew up to loosen that light. Now we know how he or she made the climb. With a stepladder, who would have thunk it? Uh, let's look at the bar, shall we? Let's have the bottles. Can't click on the bottles. Click on the. Oh, we can click on the taps. Oh. Is that another point where we can use our farting gel? You know, murder may have been on tap around here, and this could be what made the odd cut in the Vic's head. Murder on tap. And it does look like there's blood there. Um, yeah, there we go. Somebody left us a little bit of their genetic code on this tap. Blood. But is it our victim's blood? Let's collect it and see, shall we? Oh, we can look at the till. Uh, how do we open the till? Ah, okay. Enrique's hobby is stealing from Jack Simmons. Why should Jack's death change anything? Lifting the cash from his dead boss's billfold and stuffing it into an envelope and sneaking it out to his car. It's easy stuff. Though, well, didn't he say they didn't leave cash in here overnight so it couldn't have been a robbery? Was he just lying to us? And if he stole the money out of his wallet, why don't you take all the money from the till as well? Let me actually look it in. A rolled C note. And C may stand for more than century in this case. And there's that a fingerprint. That looks like a fingerprint. Try oh. using a similar tool. You're close. Something similar. Is that, uh, is that some of our favourite stuff in this uh, case? Cocaine? Is someone using this? White powder inside a rolled bill. Gee, I wonder what this substance might be. Oh yes, I wonder. Well, we've got it. And let's go back to the lab. Hey. Time to throw more evidence at her. I swear we just like keep throwing it. Nothing else for you on that. Oh, 
There we go. Print's been scanned. It's on the computer. DNA scanned and waiting in the computer for you. Good. Print's in the computer. Hey, don't mention it. And... I vote for cocaine. But even when it seems this obvious, we gotta verify on the computer. I think we're all voting for cocaine. Uh, what else have we... Uh, got this. Microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. And I guess the bill as well. Money rolling in. Pre-rolled this time. Uh, oh, we've got two fingerprints. So, donk. Search it. Search it. Uh, nope. Now that does... I swear we've seen that one before already. Well, I'm pretty sure one of those is a match. I think I went past it. Hey! The evidence tells a story at odds with Nikki's own. We have her prints on the cash, and we have them on the drug package, too. No great leap to say that she's a likely dealer or user. Or both. Well, look at that. And I'm going to say that that is probably going to be the same as Mr. Sanchez. Enrique's hands weren't just in the till. They're all over the DJ booth ladder, too. Not much of a surprise there. And we've got another special one, so... Searching, 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 searching... And wouldn't it be weird if computers actually did make that sound when they searched? And we have a winner. Cocaine it is. Raise your hand if you guess that. And keep raising them if you just don't care. Whoop, 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 whoop. So this was the blood stain on the beer tap. Uh, nope. That's a nope. That's a nope. Uh, that's a nope. I don't think there's a match in that set. Yeah, that's uh, I was coming to the same conclusion. And let's see. Yeah, that doesn't match. They would have got that small impression, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think that's a match. So. I think we need to talk to Nikki. Wish I could be of more help, but that's all I have. Wrong? Sorry, nothing else for you now. Guess we need to keep talking to. Can I help you out in this case? Uh, Enrique, Let's invite guess. him back. Why is there blood on the beer tap? You ain't gonna trick me like that. There wasn't no blood left on there. I washed that tap down like no tomorrow. Well, you may wish there's no tomorrow, Enrique, if you don't have a good explanation for that blood. Blood's from a guy named Frank Lamb, a customer. One night, the idiot kept on leaning over the bar, and this pig, he just drank right out of the damn tap. <laughs> well, I don't put up with that garbage on my watch, man, so I grab his stupid head and give him a little tap on the tap. You dig? Cut his forehead a little, bled a little. Would have been no biggie, but damn, feel like hell about it. You feel, why do you feel bad? Because this idiot, he ends up driving home that night with a snootful. Only he don't make it home. He gets in a damn accident. Kills his stupid self, which is no great loss, but he, he took out a whole family. Mom and a dad and a little girl. I left behind two little girls of his own, orphans. I feel sick inside because I should have called you guys and had them slammed in the drunk tank. Yeah, you should have done. You should have just taken his keys away. Like, you're a terrible bouncer and barman. Why are your fingerprints on the ladder? How many times I gotta tell you? Any work done around here, I done it, and I don't wear gloves. 
Hmm. That's all we have. Don't really have anything else to talk to them about. Oh, and she can find us more information about Frank Lamb to make sure that that's correct, I guess. Let me take a look. Let me pull that up. Deceased. Died in a car accident under the influence. Let's see if we can get Nikki in. Nikki Winters denies any drug use, much less dealing. And yet her prints are turning up all over a hundred dollar bill rolled up with cocaine filling. Let's talk to her and clear up this little inconsistency. Nikki, your fingerprints are on a rolled up C-note with cocaine residue. And on a big bag of coke found in Enrique's car. Enrique says the drugs are yours. And Ron indicates you have a long, sad history with drugs. What do you have to say? Just say no? Okay. Okay, the coke in the car was mine, and I probably did handle that C-note. But it was all Jack's idea. What do you mean it was Jack's idea? What are you talking about here, love? Jack offered me a quarter of the profits from both Fate and Whiskey Stop. Said I deserved it for all my hard work I put in, you know? That's all I had to do was help frame Ron for drug trafficking, and I'd be a wealthy woman. How long have you been trying to frame Ron? Who says I have? I turned Jack down. I wasn't going to help railroad some poor guy into jail just so I could feather my own nest. What kind of girl do you take me for? That's why Jack fired me. So you know what I did? I went to Ron, and I told him everything. Did Sanchez know about the deal with Jack? I think so. I'm pretty sure that Jack made the same offer to Sanchez as to me. About putting the finger on Ron? Jack said he did, anyway. That's all we need here, for now. Oh, I think we need to talk to... what's his name again? Enrique. Yeah, let's have another chat with him. Well, you sound really enthusiastic. Did Jack offer you money to help frame Ron? He said he put me in for 25% of everything from both bars. Not a lowball offer by any means. So that's why, you know, the drugs. That's why they were in my car. Nikki and me, we talked it over and she said, man, she didn't want nothing to do with Jack's plan. Me, I was still thinking it over. So I like held on to the snow, you know, but I didn't go through with it. That you gotta believe. That you gotta believe. Did you agree to the deal? Look, my judgment was bad. I'm the first to admit it. I told Jack yes, and he gave me the drugs to plant, all right? Only I couldn't sleep that night. My stomach was all screwed up. Kept thinking about the deal. And the next day, I tell Jack, hey, man, I'm out. O-U-T. But before I get a chance to give the bag of coke back to him, he gets himself killed. Which is why you found the stash in my car, see? I was bringing the junk back to Jack. Uh, I don't think that's going to get you off, really. But uh, what did Jack say when you told him you wouldn't help? He didn't go off on me or anything. I mean, I wasn't his favorite dude in the world at that moment. But he was cool. Basically cool. Just says, okay, I'll take care of things myself. All I asked was to keep my mouth shut. That's all we need here for now. Uh, let's see if we can bring in Ron. Uh... Jack hit up both Enrique and Nikki to help blackmail his partner Ron. And Nikki told Ron about the plan. Murder motives don't come much more clear cut than that. Let's bring our brewmeister in. Ah, Mr. Speedle, isn't it? Nice to see you again. Is uh, this your new partner? You may not know me, though you've no doubt heard of me. Donnie Bronson? If the shoe don't fit, you must acquit. Defender of the innocent? I can say this humbly, because I've never lost a case. Always a first time, Mr. Bronson. I assume you're here representing a client? That's right. Ron Preston. I'll just sit in and make sure everything is by the book. Not that you CSIs would ever take advantage of a suspect by talking without a lawyer present. 
I'm sure that never happens. Not under the watchful eye of that great straight shooter, Horatio Kane. We just have a few questions for Mr. Preston. Ron, Nikki Winters tells us that you are aware that your late partner was planning to frame you on drug charges. But you didn't share that with us. Now, didn't that strike you as pertinent? Not really. I knew about the scheme. Nikki told me, yeah, but with Jack dead, it was past history. Moot point. Why bring it up? <laughs> Why bring it up? Uh, how did Jack Simmons die? Ron, you're not required by law to answer any of these questions. Actually, I recommend you don't. I'm taking my attorney's advice. I don't wish to answer any of your questions at this time. My client has already cooperated above and beyond his civic duty over the course of this investigation. If you want more information from him, you'll have to convince me of its appropriateness first. Fine. We'll be serving a warrant to search the downstairs brewery at the whiskey well, stop and let the evidence again. do the talking. They must have remembered to. Sorry. To add them Nothing in. else for you now. Well, told that we're going to be getting a. A warrant, so so Ron admits knowing Jack was planning to frame him for drug trafficking, and Nikki heard the two partners arguing heatedly on the night Jack was murdered. Take a warrant to the brewery and see what else you can find. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? Uh, make, oh, we can go up here. Ooh, look at all that. Uh, can we take a swap? Is that something down at the bottom of the vat? Wonder if we can drain this sucker. You know we can. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Wow, that's one strong pipe. It's not budging or anything. And would it be so Looks high like up that emptied the, the vat. Bottom? There goes the experimental brew. Wouldn't there be beer up to that point? That's quite high up, isn't it? Oh, is that a plastic bag with a pair of what was it pliers? Look like pliers. Oh, I wonder if that was used. Yes. I'm sure she can tell us. Uh, sorry, evidence items. Pliers. A pair of locking pliers with some pretty unique details on the clamping surface. Enough for me to match them to other marks. As for the locking pliers matching the marks on the bolts. You've achieved perfection. It matches the striations. It's all about the striations. And we have a sample. Image enhancement and microscopy equipment is where that's headed. And that's where I'm headed then. Bink and bink and they match. I guess it's time to talk to Ron again. Hey, what do you need? Ron. Let's invite him back. Sounds like a plan to me. Why were the pliers that cut the light? It didn't cut the light, it just screwed the light off. Why were the pliers that uh, unscrewed the light in your beer vat? Don't ask me, Nikki probably dropped it in there. Spoiling a perfectly good batch of beer in the process. Why did Jack have the same yeast in the bottom of his shoes that he does in your beer? Why shouldn't he? We were partners in both clubs. He was always dropping by to see what kind of creation I was cooking up in the brewery. We don't need any more cooperation from you, Mr. Preston, to know what went down. You and Jack argued, it got out of hand, and it turned physical. Enraged, you smacked him in the head, killing him instantly. You probably didn't mean for it to happen, but afterwards, you did what you had to do. You carted his body to the disco, you laid him out on the floor, positioning beneath the mirrored ball, and then you tampered with the bolt so the light would crash into the corpse, and you hoped disguise what really killed Jack. A very imaginative story, Mr. Speedle, but just a story. You CSIs have a big fat pound of air. See you in court, if you really want to bother. Don't let that slick lawyer get you down. You gave the DA's office plenty to work with. You did your job, now let the prosecutors do theirs. What? I don't swear we... That felt like half a case. Like, there's no real evidence against the guy, just we found a pair of pliers in a vat. And his beer is on his shoes. That, that... Any episode of CSI, would that would have been like halfway through. 
they just feel like they're half-assing it, really, aren't they? Well, anyway, let's go through the observational challenge questions, shall we? Oh, this is a fun part. What colour was the faucet handle in the microbrewery vats? Uh, red, wasn't it? Yes! A dress of... oh. <laughs> um, I did not pay attention to that at all. Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. What was the postmortem pulling out? That was liver mortis. Hey! I'm probably saying, how much money did Sanchez have in his foreign bank account? It's almost 60,000. And what was not visible in the microbrewery? Folding chair, ventilation duct, beer kegs, wooden. Cr Folding chair? Hey! Four out of five. And we got the rank of master. Whoop, 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 whoop. And uh, that brings case two to a close. And we got all sorts of extras. Oh, look at that extra. Isn't that very, very extra? Well, hopefully we'll have part three or case three very soon. And in the meantime, enjoy the various bonuses, uh, bonus materials. Until next time, I've been the Goldfish. <laughs>